We're in the canteen backstage at The Voice. It is... The final. Ketchup and peas. <laughs> is this the dinner of champions? Yeah, it definitely is. Um, it was lasagna that was there. There was a little bit left, but I didn't really eat the peas. Hi, it's Angela again. Ever wonder what happens backstage? Not a lot, but I'll show you what does happen. Sweeping brushes, big ones that look ineffective because they're so used. This is the gallery. Fabulous place that friends and family get to stay when the performances are on. Only the very special. We've got a ladder which you can't walk under, but you have to every single day. Over and back, over and back. No wonder so much goes wrong. We really shouldn't be here, but let's go. It's the V room. In here. It's very hot. The lights are hot, so there's a lot of water for hydration. Then you have like a little family album. Fabulous hairstyles Rita's had. You know, dances they've done faces they've pulled all of that kind of stuff this is where marvin asks happens the security here is like nasa your neck needs to fit through in order to emerge more ladders again like i said superstitious this place is not for you and as if by magic we enter reality again this is a busy day right yes are you all set have you done your rehearsal yet i've done i've done my rehearsal okay i don't know the words that's not ideal just little words here and there that i'm not they just fall out of mm -hmm. your mouth. No, it's tough. There's like four songs to learn. And then like Lots. where you got to stand, where you got to be. And then you close and your boobs are going to hang out. And Don't want out. boobs or butt hanging yeah. out. Emmanuel is in the bathroom. We're not sure what he's been up to. But time will tell. Well, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Come back. No more fart jokes. It's fine. You're getting to sing one of your heroes songs tonight everyone's been really excited about the prospect of you singing a song by this artist yeah yeah it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy <laughs> can you give us a little snippet? i did i did already go on i just did huh? but i did but i did oh he did <laughs> sorry nice. i need coffee Come on. Yes. have you a bit of shade on there that's lucy sorted there that's lucy sorted we're back in wardrobe to talk fashion and meet the man who turns the mere mortals into superstars. Has there ever been any rows where you've gone, I'm absolutely not wearing Never. that Pharrell hat? Never, because Nick is super cool. So what's your favourite bin so far? I think uh, the denim jacket. <laughs> That's <laughs> denim jace kit. That's a Scottish thing. Just out of hair and makeup. Yeah, all ready to go. Are you feeling um, pumped? Yeah, I'm re well, actually, no. My, I find getting my hair and makeup done, like, too relaxing. And what about Nana Rose and the crew? Are they en route as we speak? I think they're probably here already, actually. Um, they're probably over in their hotel, just chilling. Fan Gran. Fan, fan Gran. That's a new one. Good luck, my love. Thank you very mm. much. Okay. Rehearsals. That way. It's the final, and the wonderful Paloma Fape has just performed. What a moment! That was incredible. Oh, thank you. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I feel a bit cold. <laughs> it was very cold air. There was a lot of wind. I felt like I was advertising a new perfume. I'd buy it. I would buy it. You have performed at the BBC Music Awards yeah. with our Sir Tom. Who else would you like to do a performance with out of the coaching panel? This is no offence to Ricky Wilson, because Ricky Wilson was my old boss at work when I used to work in a bar. No. Yes. Was he a good boss? In Leeds. He used to make me change the beer barrel, even though I was a girl. Not good. Mean. I don't think there's enough women loving women, and I feel like it's about time that two girls got together and did a duet, so I'd choose Rita. Is that going to happen? I don't know. Ask her. Well, I'm going to ask her. I'm off. Say Paloma says. She likes, she fancies you. <laughs> well, how are you feeling? I feel great, aside from being a little sick, but I feel good. Are you gutted, or are you content that she did an amazing job tonight? Overall, I think Lucy won. As far as what, how original and unique mm -hmm. and what she was doing as far as music um, in, the, in the whole construct of popular culture. So here she, here's a person who is ushering in, no pun intended, a, a form of music that is not on the tip of their tongue. And we're all mesmerized and captivated by it. By that, she won. Hey, how are you? Good, really good. I'm sad it's over. It was a pretty stellar final. Yeah, I know. It was an amazing final. I mean, Scotland just doesn't give in, do they? <laughs> They're dedicated voters. I know. I knew that. I kind of felt it in my bones. But Lucy killed it too, though. She did an amazing job. Do you think Stevie was the, the rightful winner? I mean, he always had a little place in your heart from the start. Aye. 
I no, I always loved him. I mean, since I turned around and I fell off my chair and then I got back into serious coach mode, you know, I just it made me really love it. So I'm happy for him. Well done, Stevie. Now he's going to make an amazing album and buy his single out. Make sure you support The Voice and Stevie. Good to see you. How are you feeling? I feel a lot, lot better now. Yes. Yes. Last week was was very uh, t- uh, trying for me, you know, to to get Sasha to to the final. Yes. That was my goal. That was. I wanted her to get to the final because she deserved to be in the final. And we got there. And she held it together. I thought I had the day off. <laughs> well, sorry. I thought no one was going to beat like, Will's the Twitter followers and Lucy and everything. So I was like, I'd given, I'd given up. I'm glad you didn't give up. And I'm glad the people of Scotland and the people of the UK didn't give up. How are you feeling? Champion! I just said there, it feels like I'm in a dream at the moment. And what? I just look you at dream it. about Ricky regularly. <laughs> yeah, all the time. It feels like now we've got through this round and now we've got to go to the next round, yeah, yeah. which is exactly what it's like because it doesn't end here. It's not like he goes to his yacht and lives his days out. Yes. He has to actually, yeah, he has to actually work now and make an album and yeah. be Stephen McCurry the artist, not yeah. Stephen McCurry the talent show contestant. Yeah. What's been your favourite moment of the show so far? Me? Oh, yeah. Right now? Yeah. <laughs> Are you oh, mental? Yeah. <laughs> Apart from right now and this little bromance situation, which I'm quite partial to, what's been your favourite? It's right now and obviously when at the blind edition and when the journey started with Ricky. So, and I knew I chose the right coach, and I did. Oh, that was, no, can I just point out how brave that was? Because he didn't choose me because, on paper, I could never win it. But um, the the combination of you and me together, we could we could win it. Yeah. Um, and you and, and I think you knew that, and I was. I'm, I'm really pleased you did go with me because you could have gone with any four of us. And uh, I sh- bear hug, do a man hug, a big stinking man hug. That is the champion. My single's got to be out at midnight tonight, so I need all you guys to go and buy it. And let's, in the morning when you wake up, download it again. Yeah, download it as much as you want, and let's make, let's get me into the top ten, and let's give me a good start to my career. Number one. Yeah, let's try and get no, number one. So Stevie. <laughs> Oh, top four would be lovely. Yeah. Oh, number, number one. one. <laughs> Please. I'm sorry about 